know, manufacturing in the old days used to be dangerous and dirty, and today it's clean and safe. One of the reasons why it's clean and safe is because we can isolate machines and areas of a manufacturing plant that have dirty or dangerous conditions. I'm with John Lytle, he's product group manager for Dynatech Manufacturing. And John, we're standing in front of a door which is cycling very, very fast. I understand this is a solution to exactly that kind of manufacturing environment that I'm talking about. Yeah, absolutely. So Dynatech recently launched our vertical fabric automated machine safety door. What this product does is it protects people and processes from hazardous equipment and other processes. So really this door is designed to keep welding cells and laser welding and different processes from interacting with operators and keeping them safe. Well, in this case, um, um, you mentioned welding, for example, welding, grinding, these are tough environments. So welding in particular, you have, you have spatter, you have uh, basically airborne particulates and abrasives. These things are killers for mechanical devices down here. This door works in environments like that? Yeah, so this fabric, so it's a, it's a vinyl reinforced polyester fabric that's designed to take welding splatter, smoke, arc flash, and be relatively close to the manufacturing environment. So we've also integrated, as you can see when the door moves, a UV resistant window, so you can use different types of windows to still see the hazardous process without interfering with its motion or the machining environment. So if I had a laser cutter or a plasma cutter on the other side, I could look through uh, the properly spec window and watch the process? Absolutely, and it would be safe. Now, it's, uh, how about the durability of this? This is a fabric door. We're talking about some pretty tough uh, things on the other side of this door. Absolutely, so Dynatech, our environment and where we've come from is we do a lot in the machining. So we've learned a lot in the machine tool environment. We've, we are used to hazardous and, and caustic environments. So as we used our experience and leveraged our knowledge in dev designing this product, we made sure to incorporate that into the design as far as when the fabric, the aluminum extrusions, and the different steel components we've integrated. Hey John, this, this door is cycling very fast behind us at the same time, and it's, it's sort of whizzing up and down. What would happen if a worker or something were to get their arm or a leg into this door while it's, while it's falling? So this door actually has a traveling photo eye. So as you saw there, there's a leading edge where the photo eye itself retracts up into the door, it's leading by about three inches. So what that does is, even though the door is traversing relatively quickly, by getting in the way of the door, you trip the photo eye, and the operator sees very little force on their arm, keeping them safe, stopping the door, and saying that this is not a safe time for the machine to turn on. And it's as simple as, as resetting the door and starting it again, and then it continues the process. This would be ideal for environments that have a real OSHA compliance problem. Absolutely, and that's what we designed this store to meet. When we talk about automated machine safety, we're really focusing on guardrail requirements. This door is designed to keep operators out of machining environments as well as other processes. So the door is meant to be able to take a hit or somebody falling up to 400 to 500 pounds and still maintain itself and then be able to be reset and restarted without injuring the employee and letting them get into the machining environment. Hey Joe, this is a demonstration unit. It's relatively small. How big can these get? So this door is small, it's not our smallest. So the opening, so up to this point, and then the width, which you see is the opening where, where equipment or people can pass through, can go as small as three foot by three foot, up to 16 foot by 16 foot. So really we have a lot of range and options that should satisfy most uh, applications that we've encountered. Is this product has proximity switches on the top and bottom that dictate the end of travel. And so that's how part of the way that the product works. And because of a unique aluminum extrusion design, those proximity switches can actually be changed and lifted up. So if at a later date we wanted to integrate a conveyor even into this door, we can move the proximity switch to here, introduce the conveyor, and the door could still work with a new conveyor system in involved. Now, if I'm establishing a new line or a new machine cell, it's one thing, but can I retrofit this equipment to an existing line? Absolutely, and one of the things that we did using this extrusion I just mentioned was we integrated T-slots on the sides and on the back. And so T-slots are a really convenient way to easily adapt using T-nuts to existing guarding or to new guarding. The door is simple in that it mounts. We have simple base plates that you mount with leveling screws. You take the legs, set them on top, take the header plate, set on top. So it's really convenient and easy to install in an existing environment or to leverage in a new cell. Uh, how many times can this cycle up and down before you've got to do maintenance or repair on, on this server? So the door is designed for a million cycles. As we re recently launched this this year, even though we have 25 years of industrial door experience, we have not yet seen where wear components are. So it's exciting as we're introducing this product. We've had our test stand at over 
1.5 million cycles. So we feel really confident in our design. And then really, a lot of that has to do with the, the way that the door traverses. So inside of the aluminum extrusion, we have ball maintenance-free ball bearings that actually guide travel, not only keeping the door aligned, but extending the life of all the mechanical components. So really, the wear components are bearings and motors, which are designed inherently to have long life. One of the exciting things about this is also that it allows us to connect, condense all of our electronics into one simple passive block. So even though this door has the traveling photo eye that I demonstrated earlier, and it's traveling within this door, there are no loose cables hanging out of the door. They all consolidate to this one place, and then you just need a simple connector that goes from the door itself to the control box that either we provide, or an integrator, or our end user sources. Advanced safety for modern manufacturing facilities, says John Little, product group manager at Dynatech Manufacturing.